Hey everyone, this is Adonis DeRoe, filling in for Gypsy, who's on location. We recently did a skit that called for a prop that we did not have. This cane right here. Gypsy and I looked all over the internet for a tutorial on how to make this prop, but there were none. So we had to improvise and make it ourselves. Now, while we were making this prop, we decided, hey, let's show everyone how we did this, just in case later someone asks us how we did it. So, first thing you're going to need is a straw that's bendy, a pair of scissors, some electrical or dark tape, a piece of wood grain contact paper, and a doll to measure the length of your cane. Here's what you do. First, you're going to need to measure your straw by bending it and holding it under your doll's hand, like this. Then take your scissors and snip the excess from the straw. Be sure the bendy part of the straw is at your doll's waist because this part is actually going to be the handle. The next thing is to create the handle of the cane. So. Cut a medium sized piece of your black tape into strips, like this. Then, line up your strips of tape with the straw, like this. Fold it down on the other side of the straw. We'll repeat that process to reinforce what we already did. We do this because it's fairly difficult to get the tape in this corner correctly. We also want to make sure this bendy straw stays at a 90 degree angle. Then wrap the remaining strips of tape around what you've already applied to the straw. Be sure to cover as much of the straw with the tape as you can. Then apply another piece of tape to the top of the straw. Carefully wrap it around the straw. This is going to be the handle of the cane. Now, if you've done it correctly, the straw will stay at a 90 or close to 90 degree angle. Now, cut off the part of the straw that's showing. We don't need that part. I cut my excess up to the tape. We're almost done. Next, we're gonna line up the straw with the edge of the contact paper. The bottom of the straw and the side of the straw should be even with the contact paper. Now we're going to cut the amount of contact paper we need to wrap around the straw. Measuring from the bottom of the contact paper, we want it to stop just below the handle and cut it right there. Then we count three spaces over on our contact paper and cut the excess. We do this because we don't want it to be too bulky. Then take off the backing and carefully apply the contact paper to the straw at the very edge of the contact paper. Carefully roll the straw so there are no air bubbles. The contact paper sticks to itself so it's difficult to see the seam. If you don't have a straw, no worries. You can use nearly anything that is cylindrical like this. I could actually use it like this if I wanted, but I'm going to add the little detail of the rubber stopper at the bottom of the cane. Take a small strip of your black tape and place the bottom of your cane at the edge of your tape near the middle. Then carefully roll the cane towards the excess tape. Cut off the excess. Now you have your cane for your dolls. You can make the cane stick to the dolls with tacky or a small clear rubber band. 
Remember, this tutorial does not exist on YouTube yet, so make sure you're subscribed because we'll be making all kinds of stuff you never even knew your dolls needed. If you like this video and you enjoy our content, do us a favor, like, comment on this video, and subscribe to our channel. Listen, you already know, there's no doll channels like us on YouTube. In fact, that's why we started a YouTube channel, because there were no other doll channels that were representing people that looked like us. So be sure to share this channel with your friends. My name is Adonis DeRoe, this is Broken Bobby TV, have a dolly day.